This is Floppy. I found him back in our fish room today. I liked him so much that I figured, why don't I build him an animal home? Hello. Siamese fighting fish, Betta splendens, commonly known as Betta, is a freshwater fish native to Southeast Asia. It is one of the 73 species of the genius Betta, but the only one called Betta, owning its global popularity due to their diverse and colorful morphology and relatively low maintenance. So we're going to do a low maintenance better tank today, an easy summer build here at Green Aqua. Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. Hello Floppy, don't be afraid, you're gonna be fed. He's hungry and he's staying in his uh, temporary home, this 10 liter a Daniel and Nano Cube Aquarium with a Chihiro slide on top and uh, the internal filter that comes with the uh, Daniel like cubes uh, usually uh, if you buy that type of set and additionally what kind of technology we have in this one we've got a 25 watt heater from Daniel also People think that the betta fish needs higher temperatures, which is true. So it, it will not thrive if, if it's kept on, under like 22 degrees Celsius. But if you have that, it's going to do fine. Even here in the fish room at Green Aqua, we don't heat any tanks. When you want these fish, the males, to make the bubble nests, then you should increase the temperature. But if the temperature is normal and low, he will not keep building nests, which is good for him because he doesn't have to work all the time. So if you want to keep him lazy, don't raise the temperature. What else do they need? They need some kind of plants because they kind of like to rest on the plants. This uh, longer leaved Anubias is the uh, Angustifolia. The round leafed ones are new plants actually, just arrived on the market not so long ago. The uh, Anubias Barteri coin leaf from Denele plants. And then I've got the good old uh, Nana Bonsai Anubias. I've got the floating plant, the uh, Harry Potter named Limnobium Levigatum. And this is a floating plant that will go on the surface like that. And th the good thing about this is that the roots will grow downwards. And when it grows downwards, this little fish, it goes straight down and then this little fish will hide nicely between the roots and it will, you know, feel quite good. You have to have filtration. Even though these guys are coming up to the surface for air, you need to have good water quality. Why? Because uh, if the water quality is not good, this fish can develop all kinds of normal diseases like uh, it can get bacterial infection obviously because it takes the oxygen from the air coming up to the surface it will not be you know prone to the ammonia poisoning that most fish uh, with the regular gills uh, would be oh and i almost forgot uh, we had a couple of uh, better tank builds before and uh, we received some comments that the uh, the fins of these fish could be hurt by some spiky uh, wood pieces. We didn't observe any physical damage to the fins because of that. But, uh, you know, I want to keep that uh, in mind with this build and I will use the wild rhino stones. I'm going to combine it with the Denele quartz gravel. This one. We are going to use also the new Oase skimmer. This is the Oase crystal skim 350. I could place this rock here, hiding the technology, which is fine, except the fish can hide behind. And then you're not going to see that. I'm going to remove the internal filter. This has been running. It's full with bacteria and it's fine to have it on the open for about an hour or two. Sorry, Floppy, I'm going to remove everything from your tank because you're gonna get into your beautiful new home in a minute.
we have a placement that I'm completely happy with. Now you guys see it from how it looks from the side. And maybe hide, hide this whole thing. I'm building a chamber. When you enter, you see the tank from the front, but then as you go towards the shop at Green Aqua, you will have to see it from this side. So dismantling everything. If you could remove this and then remove the heater like that. So even though this will be in a chamber, this could be serviced quite easily. top part is closed completely. You're gonna love this. And you already love this. You're coming to experiment this plant, right? Check this out. Okay, this was too much weight. So the liquid super glue paper towel combination works fine when you just need to glue like a wood to a rock to just keep it in place. But when you have like some weight pulling down the glue, then you would need something stronger. So I would suggest that you use the impact super glue. I will keep doing these things for the foreground. What did you do? I don't ruin the scape. I've been working on that for the past hour. If you don't see anything, don't worry. I don't see anything either. Don't move it. You did move it, I did move it, huh? It was you. Yeah, I know it was me. Gosh, damn it. Bad news is, this didn't work. Round two. When you hold it by a smaller rock and you try to place it in the tank, that's when you usually break the glue. This is an earth gravel. This is a better tank and we're gonna change the water regularly, which is very important to do. The Oasis skimmer is perfect for this build because it's gonna suck in from the top and then send it down and then send it all over this little chamber here. Also the uh, heater will be somewhat inside the gravel but that doesn't bother me at all. couple more of these guys. And then let's 
let's find some really cool pieces to be placed horizontally. This round leafed Anubias is a new plant and it will go probably near the surface. This whole thing is not very stable, but I don't care. So, ladies and gentlemen, how about that? Yeah, three hours for a small tank. But I glued the hell out of it. You floppy, you're going in. I'm going to bring this tank into the gallery now, and we'll see you next week. Good summer for you all who live in the Northern Hemisphere. Good winter for you all who live down south for our Australian friends. And here comes the fill up. This guy moves into that. Take care. Goodbye. I'm out.